Hey everyone, this is Michael Ralph, and today we're talking enzyme digestion lab, specifically the pectinase lab, where we're going to be digesting applesauce with pectinase enzyme. Okay, this is most traditionally done by volume. You compare a before and after volume of both control sample, which is untreated, and an experimental sample, which is treated with pectinase, presumably to harvest significantly more juice. Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can also compare before and after masses. Okay, the first thing you need to do is get together some materials. What we're going to be using is some twine, some paper clips, a pop bottle, 20 ounces preferably, some coffee filter paper, and you'll also need a scale and ring stand apparatus. Okay, some other things that will be useful while we're constructing this would be some scissors, a ruler, two kinds of tape, masking tape and scotch tape, and preferably something sharp because we're going to be making some punctures in our pop bottle. Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do is make our reaction vessel. So take your 20 ounce pop bottle and you're going to need to cut the bottom off. Okay, cut it as low as you can, but you still need a nice even top. Once you make that cut, we're going to make three punctures, evenly spaced around our pop bottle. And we're going to take some paper clips and fold them into what's ready to become a hook. You can see one end is flattened and one end still has its hook shape. Take the flat end and force it through that puncture and push it up against the wall. Do that for each of our three punctures and you'll have three hooks ready to suspend our reaction vessel. On the other end, take your coffee filter paper and use a rubber band to attach it to the bottom. Okay, that's going to hold all of our undigested sample in the reaction chamber but allow the juice to flow out. Okay. I recommend using a rubber band because this is going to need to be replaced frequently throughout the course of the lab. Make sure you hold on to the cap to keep this covered until we're ready. Okay, next up is the ring apparatus. The first thing you're going to need to do is get a ring stand and attach a ring to it. To that ring, you're going to need to hang three paperclip hooks. So take the straight end and bend them over the top. Make sure they're nice and locked leaving the hook dangling under, underneath. For each of the three hooks, you're going to need one length of twine, and you're going to tie it into a double loop. So take about 20 centimeters of twine, about like this, and tie a loop in each end. I would recommend, after you've tied the loop, to tape down those loose ends with some scotch tape, as you can see I've done here. That will ensure they don't come undone during the procedure. When each of those is suspended from the paperclip hook, you can raise it up, and it's now ready to be moved over and begin putting together the rest of the apparatus. Finally, once you're ready to actually do the procedure, you're going to want to mass a beaker and then load it with a determined sample of applesauce. I'd recommend something even like 100 grams on your scale. Once it's loaded, you can load it into the reaction chamber and suspend the reaction chamber from our ring so that it's ready to begin running once we're ready. When you're ready to proceed, undo the cap and the juice will begin to drain into our harvesting vessel, which is also on a scale, to begin taking measurements. If there's not enough room on your ring stand for all this to be happening all at once, you can move the scale to another location and using two more lengths of twine, these are both 45 centimeters long, you can hang a funnel and tube system underneath the reaction vessel and place your harvesting beaker elsewhere and collect in that manner. And that's it. Hopefully everything goes great for you. If you have any questions, post in the comments. Good luck.